today I'm at the Christopher Columbus Monument in Barcelona, Spain. And one of the things that came to my mind when I was walking around here is that Christopher Columbus used a compass to navigate to the places that he wanted to try to go. And Hans Christian Orsted used a compass to discover electromagnetism. And the best story that I've heard for how he did this was he was sailing on his ship one day and lightning struck it and he noticed that the lightning made his compass move, which inspired him to further investigate what was going on. Orsted was one of the first scientists to investigate the link between electricity and magnetism. And he came up with Orsted's Law. And what Orsted's Law tells us is that a DC electric current creates a magnetic field. And together with Faraday's Law of Induction, these two laws define electromagnetism basically as we know it today. To recreate something similar to what Orsted would have seen, I've taped a wire over my compass and I'm going to run an electric current through the wire and you're going to see that this electric current is going to create a magnetic field that's going to deflect my compass away from magnetic north. So I'm about to run the current, here we go, let's see what happens. Boom, deflected. And when I remove the current you're going to see that the compass is going to go back to magnetic north. Removing the current, you can see it slowly goes back. And this is Orsted's law, and this is something similar to what Orsted would have observed. It's cool to know that something I carry on my keys every day was used to help us navigate the world and to help us discover electromagnetism. And of course, electromagnetism has helped us shape the world that we live in today. Thank you for watching.